Let's use the Payroll Setup Wizard to set up our payroll for the Peachtree Training Center. Let's come here under Maintain and come down to Default Information. The Payroll Setup Wizard will walk us through all the necessary steps to set up our payroll. First, click on Next and it wants to know the state we're in. What is our unemployment percent for our company? Our percent is 0.07 percent. We do not record meals and tips. Next. Here Peachtree determines the proper accounts to use when we run payroll. If you need to change any of these accounts, simply click on the magnifying glass and select another account. These are the default accounts to be used in payroll. If we want to use other accounts for specific employees, we can always change those accounts when we set up those employees. We're going to leave this set at wages because that's the account we're going to use most in payroll. For our executive level, level people, we'll use salaries expense. But we don't have as many of those people, so we don't want to set that as a default account. Next, here's our tax liability account. That's fine. And our tax expense account. This is also fine. Click on Next. Here is our tax table version. The currently installed version of the Peachtree tax table on this system is the tax table for February of 2001. If you need to update your tax table, contact Peachtree directly and subscribe to the Payroll Tax Service. We set our own payroll tax table and we're going to show you in a later video how you can edit the payroll tax table to keep your tax table current. Click on Next. Here we're going to set up our 401k plan. We're going to train you in a later video on setting up a 401k plan. So for now we're going to leave this checked as not offered. Same with vacation and sick time. We're going to train you later on all three. Here are the accounts that are being set up based on how we went through the payroll wizard. These are all the employee fields and employer fields. These look fine. Now click on next and our payroll setup is complete. Now we're ready to set up employees. We're also ready to set up some common payroll fields and our employee defaults. We're going to do those next in the next couple of videos.